Hello, Mayuko. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're the first one as usual. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Alicia. <laughs> And Yagita. Who else I wonder? But I'm sure one person doesn't show up, and that is Simon. <laughs> yeah, if he comes, uh, if he comes in, I go out. Okay, that's that's the deal. Okay. He he can't able to join this. I beg your Sorry. He can he can't able to join Sat every Thursday. Yes, the Thursday apparently is busy. Hi, Yagita, how are you? I'm good, thank you. All right, shall we start? Sure. Now, what do you want to start with? Uh, I was planning to ask you to write me an essay, each one of you, give you 20 minutes, and then you write me an essay, and I'll check all your, your, your essays. As I said uh, before, your essays will give insights to others as well as um you know things they should do or things they should do so do you want to do it now or at the end of the session uh, at the mm -hmm. end of the session because i have i need to re, uh, learn the template actually ah no you don't have to memorize it because you can use it you can write from it okay okay so if your exam is coming up, for instance, in two weeks time, you have to memorize. Otherwise, if it is a month or two months, you still have time. So it's um, it's no, a good I exercise. was about to do that, but the circumstances are not in yes. favor of me. Right? So try to memorize, but you can use the um, template to type, to write, but that, that also will help. How about you, Alicia? Have you memorized it? Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> okay, but I know Mayuko has. Mayuko, have you memorized it? No yet. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> when do you want to see the test, Mayuko? Hmm? When do you want to see the test? No, I haven't decided. Okay, good, good. That's good. That's good because you need to do nine more tests. Okay, to go yeah. nine more mock tests. Yeah. All right. So, what? Up to you. Do it now or later? Maybe later. Okay, maybe later. So we'll start with, what do you want to start with? Mayuko. Anything. I beg your pardon? Yeah, anything. All right, yeah. Alicia? Um, I guess the, I think the dictation from the listening part because I'm pretty right good in dictation. listening. Right from dictation. Okay. And your guitar? Uh, yeah, anything. What, what's new for me? So many okay. things. Okay. So yeah. right from dictation. I think I don't think you were in the class at that time, right? No. This yeah. section. Okay. At CS and no, right from dictation, the last one. Okay. Yep. Sure. Okay. So first I play you a video, how to do the right from dictation, and then <laughs> All right, so listening. Write from dictation. Write from dictation is the most important test item in the listening module and the second most important test item throughout the PT test after repeat sentence test item of the speaking module. Candidates will get three to four write from dictation questions in their test. Each write from dictation question will give you 15 points. So overall around 45 points for your write from dictation questions. Because write from dictation test items are strategically put at the end of the listening section with a countdown timer, it is up to the PT candidates to manage their time so that they will have enough time for this section. Because if you don't pay attention to your time, your time may run out even before you come to write from dictation.
That is why I divided the four insignificant test items into squares and circles. And you are not supposed to spend more than 45 seconds on circle questions. This way, you're making sure that you're going to leave at least five minutes of your time for your write from dictation. Write from dictation strategies. Number one, write down the initials of each word of a write from dictation question. Before you start typing, make sure you write the full words in front of each initial before you forget. Mutually exclusive events can be described as neither complementary nor opposing. Number two, make sure you start your sentence with a capital letter. If you don't, you will lose a lot of points. Number three, make sure you end your sentence with a full stop or appropriate punctuation. Even if you get five words out of 10, you need to start your sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop or appropriate punctuation. The participation rate on studying language learning exceeded expectations. Number four, there's no negative marking here. So if you missed some words, try guessing them. Number five, while you're doing this section, pay attention to your time and how many right from dictation still left. Always consider you are going to get the maximum number of right from dictation, which is four. Number six, if you're not sure of the spelling of a word, write both versions next to each other as you can see here. We study science and appreciate the world around us.
do this only for one word in each write from dictation question. Number seven. American spellings are easier, so I would suggest that you use them instead of the British one. However, the British spellings are fine with the software as well. All right, now I'm going to play write from dictation and you're going to write them and then once you're finished, send them to the chat box, okay? So are you ready? Elizabeth, are you ready? Isabel, sorry. Yeah. Okay. You may need to purchase an academic gown before the commencement. Did you send it, Isabel? Where can I send? I'm still, I'm still okay, along the, the website. Ah, so Where can I look, send? I'm is, so okay, I send a message to you or to all. Hi. Yeah. There you go. All right, you can type uh, where it says type the message at the bottom. Okay, I get. Or just copy and paste it there. All right. So, Alicia, you may need to purchase a gown before the commencement very good you missed one word or two you might purchase academic gowns before commence that's very good Mayuko. you may need to pay the academic fees before the day of commencement that's good you got 40 50 percent of it and isabel yeah i'm just right okay so You may need to purchase an academic gown before the commencement. Okay, so remember once you type, once you write, don't start typing the first letters. Write the full words before you forget, otherwise you will forget. And then you start typing. Okay, next one. After that, I just need to send or... Oh, next one, next one, Isabel, next one. Okay, okay we did this one. It might rain later today, according to the weather forecast.
Well, you call Anne, yeah, Peter, very good. And Isabel. All right. So Mariko, it might rain according to the rain forecast. Okay, later today, you didn't write. It might rain later today according to the weather forecast. Very good, Yakita. Fall. Isabel, it's May. Okay, it may. There is no S there. There is no is there. It may okay. rain. It may rain today to the forecast. And Alicia, it might rain later today according to the weather forecast. Okay. All right, next. Native speakers are exempted from language tests in their own language. All right, native speakers are exempted language test from, so exec, exempted from, very good, always comes from the preposition from, language test in their own language, very good. Later speech are today, their speak, their yeah. language. So you see, you got um, language correct, uh, their correct, so the more right. you write, the more yeah. similarity, the higher the similarity. Okay, very good. Alicia, native speakers are exempted from the English test from their own language. Okay. Now let's check the answer. Native speakers are exempted from language tests in their own language. It means that if you go to uh, for instance, Japan, and you are a native speaker, you don't have to take a Japanese test to see if your Japanese is okay, because you're a native speaker. So if you're, um, but the thing is that uh, nowadays in Australia, if you come from England and you're a British or you're, a, you're an American, your first language is English, but still you have to do the uh, PT or IELTS test. All right, it's a, it's a requirement now. Okay, next one. Teenagers, more than most age groups, feel strong pressure to conform.
All right. Teenagers, most age group are more, more strong than to conform. Okay. All right. Teenage, this and aged groups feeling pressure to conform, conform. Teenagers from the most age group are strong pressure. Okay. Teenagers more than most age groups feel strong pressure to conform. Huh? Teenagers, uh, more than most age groups, feel strong pressure to conform. Do you know what it means? This sentence, what does it mean? Hmm? It means that if you are a teenager and you go to a party and everyone in that party is smoking, if I go to that party, I wouldn't smoke because I don't feel that pressure to conform, okay? But teenagers, even though they know it's bad for them, some of them, or most of them do smoke because they feel that pressure to conform, to be like others, okay? That's what it means. So teenagers, more than most age groups, feel strong pressure to conform. Conform means to be the same as others. All right, next one. Medical researchers have focused on the different treatments and diseases. Very good. Medical researchers are focused on treatment and diseases. Okay, medical researchers focus on many treatment and diseases. Medical researchers have focused on medical research plans. Okay. Medical researchers have focused on the different treatments and diseases. Okay. So the more you practice, the better you become. I don't want you to practice in the test, okay? Yeah. To have free write from dictation in the test before. The library has substantial materials of economic history.
Alicia Hay. Alicia. The library has substantial material of economic history. Okay. Those students seeking further extension should talk to their faculty for more information. Very good, Michael. You got sixty percent, seventy percent of it. So look, this is how the, uh, the computer marks you. So you start typing. Say, I beg your pardon. I missed it. Okay, those are students who are seeking. Uh, we're seeking what? Do you remember? Assistance. Faculty. What was that? Faculty. Uh, I didn't write you. Faculty. Members. Faculty department. Okay. Seeking. Uh, Okay, let's just, let's just up to here, okay? So up top, up to here. I put the full stop. Okay, and now I check it. 40% similarity. Those students seeking further extension should talk to their faculty for more information. Remember, the, mo the most important thing is capital letter. You start with a capital letter and finish with a full stop, okay? And write as many words as you can. Next one. So try to write the first letters and then try to write the full words and then type it. Next one. Peer review is an essential part of scientific methods.
All right. Isabel, your review is part of scientific method or master. Okay. The review is uh, and okay. It's Seventy five percent. Peer review is an essential part of scientific methods. Peer review means that if um, I'm a university professor and scientist, if I write something, if I want to test something first, I give it to my colleague. She or he will read it for me, and then they say, "Okay, this you need to do this. You make make these changes." That's called peer review. Remember peer pressure? We had peer pressure just a moment ago, smoking in a cigarette, smoking in a party for young teenagers, the teenagers, that's the same thing, but in a different context, peer review. Okay, next. She has made a significant contribution to the field of chemistry. All right, very good. She has made a significant contribution. To the she has made a significant contribution to the field of chemistry. Next. Plagiarism in a test is very severe. Okay.
All right, good. So if you didn't know the word plagiarism, now you do. Plagiarism in a test is very severe. Plagiarism in a test is very severe. Now, plagiarism means that copying someone else's idea or someone else's article, scientific article, exactly the same thing, and present it as your own. And the last one. Tribes worked with each other to build monolithic statues. All right, so Yogita, tribes, works, okay. W9 awards, okay. <laughs> Tribe works with me. So Yogita here, tribes is plural, so you don't have to write works. Say tribes work. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Computer doesn't care, you know. Tribes get a point, work you get a point, so that's fine. All right. And the answer. Tribes worked with each other to build monolithic statues. This is an exam question, okay? This is an exam question. So if I were you, I would write it somewhere, practice it, possibly you will get it. All right. Now, um, what do you suggest we should do? Mayuko? Should we go home, Mayuko? Do you suggest that we should go home? <laughs> oh, we are home. We are already home, sorry. Yes. Like in monolithic, um, was capital M. Is it okay if we uh, write mm, down? It shouldn't be, but if, if you do it, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. But it shouldn't be because monolithic is, you know, there's nothing special about it. It is not like America that is a country and it should be capital letter, okay? Unless monolithic is at the beginning of a sentence and then you have to capitalize, otherwise you don't. No, no, I, that's why I was asking because in the answer it was capital, but that's, I write That's down. wrong, yes, you're right. I, I've made a mistake, it shouldn't be. Thank you no, for... no, I was just asking. Yeah. yeah, thank you. No, no, that's um, I didn't actually notice that. I didn't actually notice that, so I will change it. But I forgot the number. Anyway, so what what do you suggest, uh, Mayuko? Mm, detailed lecture or summarizing spoken text. Okay, um, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Alicia, you're chewing gum. Oh, yes. Now I think the same with my call. All right. Isabel?
Okay, we didn't hear a word of what you said. Yeah, Guta, Agita. What is this HCS? Like it's where? Which one? In the, uh, in the listening, the fourth one. This one? Highlight correct summary. Okay. Okay. So highlight correct summary. This is a circle question. We'll do this one and then we do summarize the spoken index. Okay. Highlight correct summary. Let's let me play that video for you. Thank you for reminding me. And Isabel probably didn't have this highlight correct summary. So we're gonna practice all. There are 20 test items. We will do all of them, don't worry. Um, but this is one of those insignificant questions, okay? Okay. Highlight correct summary, where is it? Summarize spoken Oh, this one, okay. Highlight correct summary. Highlight correct summary is the fourth test item of the listening module. PTE candidates will get one or two highlight correct summary questions in their PTE test. This is the first test item of the circle questions. Just a reminder that I divided these four insignificant test items into two groups, the square and the circle ones. The square ones, multiple choice, choose multiple answer questions, you do not answer and you just skip these questions. And the circle ones, you must choose an option even if you do not know the answer because there's no negative marking here. Do not spend more than 45 seconds on choosing an answer. And after that time, if you still had no idea, just choose one option randomly and go to the next test item. Okay, now I have changed the tactics for those who want 65. Now, because they have reduced the um, number of questions, you might struggle in time. So the new strategy is this, if you want 65, if you want 65 for, this, for these questions, just choose randomly one, as soon as the audio is finished, just choose one of the four items. It doesn't matter, just choose one and go next, okay? If you want 65, so don't waste your time here, just choose one randomly and go next. And if you had the same question, again, the same type of question. Now, this is for circle ones. I said 40 seconds, well, I would say no. If you want 65, just choose one and go next. Um, it really doesn't matter which one, but if you are a systematic person, you say, well, I'm gonna choose all A's. So it doesn't matter, choose all A's, one of them must be the answer, okay? Highlight correct summary strategies. Number one, for this test item, there's no question for you to read. There are only four options. Just use the 10 second preparation time to read the first option. When the audio starts, just listen to the audio and note down important pieces of information if necessary. Once the audio is finished, Read the four choices and see which one is closer in meaning to a summary of what you just heard. This test item is the equivalence of summarized recent text of the writing module, but in listening with four options, only one of which is closest in meaning to a summary of the audio you just heard. Number two, it's a circle test item. This means that there's no negative marking for a wrong answer. So if it is taking more than 45 seconds to find an answer and you have read the first two options and the answer wasn't there, choose an option randomly from the two remaining choices and go to the next item. Do not waste your limited time. Let me do a sample here for you. So we'll just read the first option or two.
Thousands flee as Xerxes advances into southern Greece, screamed the headline of a Greek newspaper in 480 BCE, or would have done had there been newspapers back then when the Persians invaded Greece. Before Xerxes arrived, the Athenians evacuated their entire civilian population from Attica, a territory roughly the size of Rhode Island. The numbers involved are hard to estimate, but probably we should be thinking in terms of 100,000 or more. They included children, women, the elderly, foreigners, and probably slaves as well. Evacuations are always messy, as Christopher Nolan's recent movie Dunkirk shows us. But this one must have been especially messy. When the refugees arrived at their destination, there were no medical services, no reception centers, no aid workers, no supplies of clothing, bedding, or clean water to greet them. Most of them must have been evacuated from Attica by sea. The island of Salamis, which lies just one nautical mile south of Attica, was the principal destination. It meant the refugees would have had a ringside seat as the Persians burned Athens to the ground. So very quickly. Alicia? Okay, so the whole idea of the... Okay, very good. Uh, just, uh, Yagita, which one? Last one, the Persian invasion of Greece would. Okay, very good. That's it. Yeah, very good. So Persia invaded Greece. That's the whole idea, okay? Anything you, you can choose in within 10, 15 seconds, you can. Otherwise, choose one and go. And next. Audio Don't waste track your time. was that Persia invaded Greece. And the closest in meaning to the notion is this option. And no dramas, even if you choose a wrong answer. Remember, these are circles, insignificant test items, and you should not waste your time here because the most important questions are at the end and you should leave enough time for them. Multiple choice choose single answer of the listening. Okay, so I'm going to play you one of these hi highlight correct summary. So remember, it's like um, you, you listen to an audio, there's a sentence that summarizes what you hear. And that sentence covers everything, most of the things, okay, the main thing. The rest are wrong or, so I'll give you 40 seconds to read this one, but remember in the test, you don't have to do that. These days, it seems like news about healthy eating among babies and toddlers is everywhere. You certainly hear about the health benefits of breastfeeding and the need to support mothers who breastfeed. The health benefits have been widely published in the literature as offering protection against diabetes and in obesity prevention. But you don't tend to hear about how a mother's diet and her food choices will influence flavor and food preferences in her toddler. Indeed, maintaining healthy eating habits could have more benefits than previously known, and that's why my co-author and I recently took a closer look at how eating a healthy and varied diet during pregnancy and breastfeeding could help infants from becoming picky eaters later in life. We examine literature on breastfeeding as related to flavor and food preferences, especially research from the last decade. Our findings indicate that healthy eating patterns will have an influence on the infant's flavor and food preferences. Through sensory exposure to amniotic fluid and, later on, breast milk, infants experience varied flavors based on the mother's diet and environment. If they're being fed a formula-based diet, then the flavor of that formula is constant. It never changes. Whereas breast milk changes based upon what the mother's eating, so the research has shown that those infants who've been breastfed tend to be less picky about what they will eat. Eating healthy foods during pregnancy and breastfeeding expands the baby's exposure to these flavor profiles and are also more profound the longer the infant is breastfed. It is my hope that mothers could use this information to encourage a healthy future for their babies. All right, take 30 seconds and choose one. Hey. Very good. 
There you go. A is the answer, but it really doesn't matter. It's not a big deal if you choose the wrong one, okay? But remember, if you want 65, just choose one and go next because I want you to get the right one dictation. But if you want 79, no more than 30 seconds. Now, you read the first one and the second one and your time is already 30 seconds past. So now between these two, you know the answer is not here. So between these two, just choose one and go next in the test, all right? Don't I have a question. Yes, Ali. Um, in the test, like before you press the next, do you do we have to wait for the speaker to be to finish? Very good. Yes. So in the um, it's the, the the speaker is right now here in the middle somewhere here. If you press next, the software says you cannot go next because the audio is not yet finished. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That was the so, same question I was going to ask. Yes, so as soon as it finishes, you ch you choose one, and then and you go next. Okay. Yeah. Remember, circle is your friend, square is your enemy. All right. Okay. Now, to summarize, spoken text. Okay, for summarize spoken text, you write down as many words as you can. And then you start using the same template for written lecture. The topic of the lecture was this, the speaker talked about this. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points, blah, 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 okay? There once was a guy named Albert Einstein, who you have probably heard of, and he developed the equation E equals MC squared, which you have probably heard of also. Using this equation, the relationship between mass and energy can be calculated using the speed of light, which is a universal constant. But how did scientists determine the speed of light? Philosophers in ancient Greece were the first to think about and debate the speed of light. Way back in the 5th century BCE, Empedocles made the first claim that light had a finite speed. Aristotle, however, disagreed and said that light was instantaneous. Euclid and Ptolemy thought that light came from the eyes, which is what enabled sight. This would seem to imply that light must have an infinite speed, which allows us to see really distant objects like stars immediately upon opening our eyes. Over a thousand years later, the Islamic philosopher Al-Hazin proposed that light actually travels from an object into our eyes, and therefore light has a finite speed. Like 600 years later, really smart people like Johann Kepler and Rene Descartes were saying that the speed of light must be infinite, because there is nothing in empty space to slow it down. So now you try to type it. The topic of the lecture was this. The speaker talked about this. The speaker talked about this. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following point. For Isabel, I'm going to show you the template so that you can use the template. So it's the same template as we use for retail lecture. So I want you to take a photo of this, Isabel, or those who don't have it. Huh? I think it was the first one. Yes, this one. So retail lecture and summarize the spoken text template. The only thing that you need to add is and here at the end. So before the final uh, word you write, you say and and then finish the sentence. Okay. You have 10 minutes now to type 50 to 70 words. Okay. In as many sentences as you want. You don't have to write in one sentence. Remember that was summarized written text. Go.
I'm back, sorry. So, sorry, I was typing, but I pressed the enter by mistake. Oh, that's all right. Oh, okay, yeah, keep going, keep going. Then. But you've got three more minutes left, okay? So, Ara. Okay, two minutes more left, two more minutes. Okay, 45 seconds to go.
Very good. Excellent, Alicia. So a few mistakes here and there. I mean, spelling mistakes, years and Okay, m m c squared. That's fine. The square is fine. Mm. Good, very good. Are you good? Time's up. Did you write, Mayuka? Yeah, I already sent it. It's first one. Really? Yeah, you are not there. There you go. Yeah, that was a lecture was about Albert. Good. So because Mayuko was a close friend to Einstein, Mayuko calls him Albert, okay? And everybody knows that. Um, the author, um, the speaker talked about the author. The speaker also went on and talked about the relationship with energy. Very good, finally. The speaker highlighted the following points. Scientists, very good. Ancient Greek, 5th century BC, Earth, planets, opening something immediately speed 600 years later very good nothing to do for every space. So you see this section this this last one just gives you point for your content you don't have to make sense don't make sense at the end just throw in as many content words as you can so you see these words are sporadic 600 years most of you wrote it okay um planets scientists earth these are the ones that you didn't mention somewhere but towards the end, if you mention it, it's your content. Very good. So do not try to write full sentences, especially sentences related. Just try to mention the content. So remember, this is grammar. Grammar is very important. Do not write a complex sentence here. Do not write, for instance, uh, do not start a sentence like this. While the rest of the scientists were doing this, come on, another person started doing this, that ended the ball, and then the, because the more you start, the longer the sentence will become, the, con the confused so the software will be about, um, what is the subject, where is the verb, oh my goodness, you know. So short sentences, the topic of the lecture was this. The speaker talked about this. The speaker also went on and talked about this. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following point. Bang, 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 bang. All content words. All right. Another one. Very good. So this time, take care of your time. I want you to finish it at seven in seven minutes time. Oh. Okay. But most of you got most of the content words. Okay. Next one. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't. Oftentimes, it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you got to love it. You got to have passion. And I think that's the high order bit. The second thing is, um, you've got to be you've got to be a really good talent scout, because no matter how smart you are, uh, you need a team of great people, and you've got to figure out how to how to size people up fairly quickly, make decisions without knowing people too well, and hire them, and you know see how you do, and refine your intuition, and be able to to help you know build an organization that can eventually just you know build itself. Because um, you need great people around you.
Okay, good, uh, Mariko. So I'm very confident that you will get the score here and you will make no grammatical mistakes here. That's very good. Okay, so who's next? Mariko and then Isabel. The lecture was about, the lecture was love. The speaker talked about people saying you love to love, you have to love if you don't love. You see, uh, um, Isabel, you are making a complex sentence, okay? Write a very simple sentence. So here is, it's a complex. The, the speaker talked about people saying love. So you have to finish the sentence. And then if you don't love, you give up. That's another sentence, okay? No matter how smarter you are, you are be able to build yourself, okay? Uh, Yagita, the topic of the lecture was about passion and love towards your work. The speaker talked about sustained period on doing it. Okay. The speaker also went on and talked about hard work and constantly worrying. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following word points. So the following points, semicolon, passion, and you see, these are mistakes. So if you write, yeah. if you write, so the speaker talked about um, making decision. Oh. No way. Well, the coma and space yeah. yes that's uh, i can't see a thing okay now let's darken here i can okay for z so comma and then space another yeah. one able otherwise the computer thinks that um this is part this comma is part of that sentence part of that word all right yeah. so remember all the punctuation whatever you have here a full stop even a full stop or comma then you start you go one space and start the word uh a space further good so you know that here is just a all right and alicia topic of the lecture was about having passion on what you do very good the speaker also talked about irrational person will give up if you don't like what you do. Mm, that's good. It's a complex sentence, but correct. Finally, comma. The speaker highlighted the following points, semicolon. Okay. Successful people who love what they do will persevere. Very good. Hard work, passion on what you do. Uh, you have talent, scouts, very good, making decisions, able to build organization, and you need great people around you. Excellent, very good, very good. All right, any questions? Any questions here? No? So that's summarized spoken text. You, you, you may get one or two questions like this in your test. Remember to memorize the templates and Bob's your article. Now we've got 10 minutes and we're gonna start with answer short questions. So if you know the answer, just shout out, okay? Which sense do humans use to feel softness and roughness of a material? Touch. Touch. 
Very good, we've done this. So we go 100. Okay, now. Where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes, bounce and burner, beaker and petri dish? Lab. Laboratory. Very good. In a lab or laboratory. If you know the answer, just say. In what building would you watch plays and musicals? Studio. Studio? Theatre. Theatre. Very good. Theatre. Okay, or cinema, theater. When would it be safe to take medication which causes drowsiness? Before sleeping, driving, or operating machinery? Before sleeping. sleeping. Very good, sleeping, before sleeping. Which kind of sport uses human effort? Cycling or horseback riding? Cycling. Very good, cycling. Yeah. What is the name of this object? Windmill. Yeah. Windmill, very good. Which country is famous for its windmill? We didn't get your question. Which country is famous for having a lot of windmills? Austria. <laughs> no. Holland. Oh. Or the Dutch. They're very famous. They have a lot of these stuff. Okay, next one. What is the name of the student who has not completed his course? Lazy? What is it? I don't know. Undergraduate. Um. <laughs> Not lazy, okay, undergraduate. <laughs> so, next one. Inhalation of which tobacco substance or activity is dangerous? Smoking. Smoking. Very good. What kind of dictionary provides synonyms, antonyms and related words? Thesaurus. Excellent. Who said it? Me. Very good, Alicia. Very good. Thesaurus. 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 Good. That was difficult. What is the standard set of letters that is used to write one or more languages based upon the general principles? Alphabets. Oh. Alphabets, okay. The standard. Um, what is the standard set of letters that is used to write one or more languages based upon the general principle? Next. In addition to the letters A, E, I O. What is the other vowel? You. A. Me? Me? Did you say me? I yes, owe it's you. you. Very good. Next. What are the bird's bodies covered with? Feathers. Feather. Very good. Feather. In which kind of book can you find Africa maps? Atlas. Excellent, Atlas.
Would a bus driver, an artist, or an accountant usually be regarded as having the greatest scope for creativity in their job? Bus driver, an bus artist, or if you do not know, it doesn't matter. Just say in the test, okay? Just choo choose a word from what you hear. Just a word. That's it. Would a bus driver, an artist, or an accountant usually be regarded as having the greatest scope for creativity in their job? It would be the bus driver. Imagine if the bus driver decides to throw the bus into the river. Huh? It's very creative, okay? <laughs> All right, next. Which one is not considered to be a modern transportation vehicle? A car, a carriage, or an aeroplane? Carriage. Very good. A carriage. Which kind of school admits children between the ages of 5 to 11? Primary. Yes, primary. Which drink has caffeine alongside tea and hot chocolate? Tea. Tea. Tea was mentioned. Coffee. Um, energy drink. Coffee. Coffee, coffee. Yes, coffee wasn't mentioned. Which drink has caffeine alongside tea and hot chocolate? But energy drinks also had cushions. Yes, but... What's the name of the musical instrument that has 88 black and white keys? A harmonium? Piano. Piano. The piano. Yes, very good. So, you see a guitar? It says which one of the... Which one of... Uh, apart from these two, okay? Yeah. But it's all right. What's the name of the page at the beginning of a book which gives information about each chapter and its relative page? Index. Content. Content. Very good. Content page. What divides a circle into two halves? Ha. Huh. A diameter. diameter. Very good diameter. What sort of instruments are the piano and the guitar? Musical. Excellent musical, musical instrument. How many hemispheres does the Earth have? Three. Three. Recently, one has been added to it. Huh? Recently, one has been added to it. Okay. It used to be two. There used to be two hemispheres, yeah. northern and southern hemisphere. OK? So two. And the last one. How many sides of a peninsula are surrounded by water? We had this before. Three. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the peninsula, what's the name of it? Um, Mornington, the Mornington Peninsula. So there are, it's got three sides. Are surrounded by water, and one is the inland. So that's a peninsula. Otherwise, if that side is closed, that then it is an island, not a peninsula. Okay. So the answer is three. Three. Yes.
Any questions? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, I'll see you next week. Thank you for coming. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.